All right, here we go, controller setup. That's a good sign that the controls are fresh from boot. Something I noticed, a little fun fact, that now if you have two player, two controllers set up and one is already configured and one is not, while you're configuring the new controller, if the old controller is configured the up, down, left, right, you can actually skip keys. So before you had like hold down a button, if like, for example, you had a Super Nintendo controller without analog sticks, so you got to skip the left analog and the right analog, that's like eight menu items on the configured controller. Now you can take your, your controller that's hooked up and just go down, 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 and then press OK. So it actually saves a little bit of time of holding that button down. I mean, it sounds something small, but it's, if you're configuring a lot of controllers all the time, it's uh, pretty nice. All right, so here we have it. This is Phil's Doodles. Phil's Doodle made this theme, and then he made a uh, packaged theme with 20 gigabytes of backups on it. And then this guy, Gabber23, what I expect that he did is he either took the stock one without games, or he took the one with games, and then he added his own. So Phil, what he did, what he, he kind of only put his favorite games. So for example, like the Nintendo catalog has like over 700 games. Um, so, but he only put like 200 or so Nintendo, for example. So, he only took like the best of the best for him. So, let's see what Gabber put on here. On uh, arcade games, we got 1,316. Atari 2600, we have 648. 7800, nice. That Joust is slick. Nice. Love it. Uh, I love the, the red eye on that. Ostrich or Emu? One of those two. Or hybrid. 54 of those games. Family Computer Disk System, uh, 79. Game Gear, 249. Game Boy? It's portable. It's stereo. 1737. Was it stereo? Uh, MAME Arcade, 2271. Master System, 278. Mega Drive, also known as Genesis, 685. Neo Geo, nice metal slug, 137. NES, 791. Yeah, so I can already tell. Uh, PC Engine, 382. So it sounds like these are like the main dumps. Uh, 11 gigs of, or 11 games of PlayStation. Some good games in here. Ridge Racer, always fun to drift in that game. Um, I have to say, I like Gran Turismo. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, as long as you got those two racing games, you're good. RetroPie setup, Sega 32X, 33. That's pretty much all you're going to see on a lot of these. Sega CD. Sega CD actually takes up a lot of space, guys. So selecting which games you really like on here definitely saves some space. Um, SG-1068. Super NES, 778. Vetrix, 23. That's kind of interesting. Not a lot of people put these games on there, but very nice. CPS-1. 24, CPS 2, 31, CPS 3, 4, uh, oh, Shoot'em Ups Collection, I was like, what is this? So you get some collections, and then you have all games, so 40 gigs, it's a 40 gigabyte image running at 95.45, um, pretty good, pretty good. I've seen 32 gigabyte images, um, which, uh, I've seen a 32 hold up to 10,000. But again, it depends on the system, right? You have your last played, and then you have all your arcade games, which I believe would include your CPSs as well as your MAMES. You can hit select, jump to a letter. Yeah, because these are CPS here. So a lot of street, all your street fighters. You can add screen savers on here. If you want to learn how to do that, I did a video on it. But as you can see, each room has different font, like Game Gear. This is similar font, similar font, similar font. But when you go into like the Japanese 
systems. It's got kind of a Japanese uh, font to it. I wonder if they're all black and white too. Yeah, so they turned black and white as well. So color, black and white for Japanese and then color for other releases. No, oh, SG-1000, there you go, black and white again. Um, in RetroPie setup, you can see it's on one of the most recent versions of RetroPie. I thought I had him. I thought he would have just died right there. Yeah. Cows killing cows. <laughs> Love that the eagle came in. Alright, so there's an arcade game for you. And uh, let's just try a console game really quick. So as you can see, really nice um, shaders as well as um, bezels. Good old Woodman. Forget those guys. What? Got him. What? Come on. <laughs> Did not do so well there. <laughs> Let's keep it moving. Can I not hide there?
No. <laughs> okay, I tried. I tried. Cannot beat Woodman. So there you have it. What makes this image really beautiful is the theme in general. But as you can see, it's got a nice collection of games. It pretty much gives you everything from Atari 2600 up to, uh, you know, it starts to st stop giving you all the games with uh, Sega 32X, or not 32X, but Sega CD, um, limited PlayStation games, and uh, I didn't see any Nintendo 64 as well. So it is missing those. Um, you do have your Neo Geos, you do have a large arcade collection, you have your CPS 1 through 3s, um, you even have some collections on here. So overall, really great. There is no video snaps, it is a artwork only, but it does seem to have all the artwork and uh, screenshots as well as the metadata. So um, it's well configured in those respects. This is the Gabber image and he just took um, Phil's image and added to it's 40 gigs, so you're gonna need a 64 gigabyte for this. 64 gigabyte still a really good value right now. Um, uh, Sandus just released their new A1 chips, so you can get the non A1 chips, the Sandus Ultras, for fairly cheap right now. I think a 64 is around 22 dollars or so. So you know it's a good size, and with those extra 20 gigs, you'll be able to get the Nintendo 64, some more PlayStation games, maybe some Dreamcast. Um, and anything else that your heart desires, maybe you want to do Amstrad or some older systems as well, that's totally up to you. This this uh, image is totally ready for it. What sets this aside really is the artwork, the bezels, the loading screens. It really is a retro gaming experience. It's all custom made. You don't see a lot of things like this. This is a reason why the Phil's Doodles image is so cool and so many people liked it so much. Is because there's not a lot that really uh, even come close. I would say the closest thing that comes is the comic book theme. And uh, but that's just still a little different, you know, the way the font looks and things like that. This is definitely a one of a kind, especially with these full screen images on the main menu. So thumbs up to Phil, thumbs up to Gabber for getting this all set up. If you have any questions, comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.